we are back with another Candid's Beauty Corner and today I'm doing a makeup tutorial, a very simple one for Fashion Week. During Fashion Week, I assume that it's going to be very hectic. You're going to run between shows all day long and you want the makeup to stay intact as well as be very moisturizing. So first of all, I have already applied a moisturizer which was the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream Formula with SPF 15. For concealer, I'm using Maybelline New York H Rewind and I basically just fold it over my under eye and the areas that I want it to conceal and then I'll just use my finger and sometimes I also use a foundation brush I always apply it together with a pinky or with my index finger is that how I say it? this finger because it has less muscles in it so I don't damage the sensitive eye part now that my concealer and um, moisturizer is on my face. I'm gonna move over to the primer and for primer I use the Becca Infusion Backlight Primer. I'm gonna dab it all over the face. I want the primer to be applied before uh, my foundation because then uh, the makeup will stay longer throughout the day. Next product is gonna be my foundation. It's a product from my comb that I've been using for many months now. So the name of these foundations is Idol Ultra Wear, but it also says that it has this 20, 20 hour wear and comfort retouch free. Which I really like because I'm going to be out all day for all the fashion shows and be backstage and I want my foundation to keep my face intact but also give me that glow, that glowiness and also um, give me that light coverage. Remember to also apply onto your neck because the last thing you want is like a very harsh difference you want it to kind of blend in and then I'm gonna go over with this sponge now I'm gonna apply my scent powder from Elizabeth Arden tap once or twice for the excess powder to um, be removed so that it doesn't look too harsh on your face There I have my sunset browns on and now I'm going to move over to the blush. I'm using this brush and the face palette collector. This is a product with a lot of pigments in it. So I just kind of use very little. Can you see what I mean with that? This has a lot of pigments. Then I'm going to use the Becca New Palette. I'm going to apply shimmer. A little bit. So now that the product is on, I'm gonna move over to the eyes. This is an eyeshadow from Urban Decay. Um, it's called Riff, and I think that it has a really warm and nice brown undertone for use as the base. That's the product that I'm gonna apply all over my lid. And then I'm gonna use this ColourPop eyeshadow. Apply it. Just a little bit, it has a lot of shimmer in it. So I'm just gonna apply the outer corner of my eye. Now I'm gonna do my brows, and here you have a brow pencil from ColourPop. And this is a brunette brow duo from MAC Cosmetics. What I do is I use the lighter shade on this area, and then as I gradually go, a further behind, I'll make it darker with this color. Now that my brows are done, I'm going to apply my eyeliner. It's called Ultra Black from Guerlain. First thing I do is I look up and then I draw underneath my lashes. Some people have very wet eyes and I'm definitely one of them. So whenever I do this, I always tear up. So can you see the difference between this eye and this eye? So um, whenever I don't have the time and I just run out, I tend to do um, only the eyeliner because then I feel like my eyes are open more and I look more awake. 
And now that I'm done that, then I'm going to do my winged eyeliner. I always feel like myself again whenever I apply eyeliner. Before that, I just feel this entire process has been me looking like a zombie. Anyways, and then I'm going to move over to mascara. And for mascara, I use the Urban Decay Perversion today because I, for Fashion Week, I wanted to be as bold, as voluminized as possible. So this is definitely something that I recommend. I think we have like four or five of these mascaras and I adore it. I think it's really good and it has a lot of color in it. I have very short lashes, so I always wear eyelashes. But I also like to apply mascara before I apply the eyelashes because I think then it looks pretty natural um, that your lashes kind of go in with the lashes. So while we're waiting for the eyelashes to dry, I'm going to apply lipstick. For a lipstick, I'm going to use the Daniel Baby Lips Balm and Blush. So based on the name, I assume that you can use this for as a multi-product, which I always like. But as I already have blush on, I'm just going to use it as a base for my lips. It smells very good and it has a very creamy texture. I like it. There's a lot of product and I, it's also a little bit tinted like pink. This product is from Maybelline and I've been seeing it on all the shows Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week in Sydney. So this is definitely a must-have product. It's been debuted on all the catwalks, all the models have been wearing it and um, it's very handy as well for you to bring for a touch-up later today. For my lipstick, I'm going to apply the Color Jolt lip paint product from Maybelline. The color is called Strip Down 05. I really like the shade, so I'm looking forward to see how it looks onto my lips. Well, it has its own applicator. This is the first time trying it on, guys, so first impression. It smells very good. The applicator is awesome. Okay, I'm in love with this color. So this is the lip paint that I'm wearing on right now. I really like the shade. It has a creamy texture. It's a lip paint, so it's very close to the one of my other favorites in lip paint. Although, I think I like this shade more because I like that it has kind of that purple burgundy undertone, while this is more of a pinkish peach undertone. Yeah, this is definitely a new favorite of mine. Now I think the eyelashes have dried up. So I'm gonna apply it on. Now it's on. Nay! You go Cinderella. Right, so now that my um, eyelash now that my eyelash is on and I'm kind of done with my makeup, I'm just gonna apply a new coat of mascara and a new coat of eyeliner. I hope you guys like this makeup tutorial. It's been forever since I made one. Be on the lookout for Candy's next beauty corner. And now we're gonna run off to Fashion Week. So if you do like this video and you want more quick how-to tutorials, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Bye!